A Taunton High School couple is suspended over a photo they posted on Facebook. Now, the pair recently posed for their homecoming pictures holding airsoft guns. And today, we talked to the superintendent about what comes next. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in studio now with the details. New at 530. Well, Kelly, two high school students say they're facing expulsion for having toy guns. The school superintendent told me this afternoon that they're having a hearing with the principal to determine their exact punishment. The students say they did nothing wrong. At first glance, these look like very dangerous guns, but they're actually airsoft guns. They shoot plastic pellets, not bullets. It can be like paintball, where teams compete like this one. The student on the right with the red bandana protecting his face is 15-year-old Tito Velez. This is Tito and his girlfriend, Jamie, posing for their homecoming picture last Friday. This photo got them suspended from school. In an interview, the two answered questions holding the airsoft guns at the heart of the controversy. This isn't dangerous. You can't kill someone with it. We didn't shoot at anyone. We were pointing them at the floor. Everything was unsafe, no battery. They say they never took the guns to school. Never. I'd be stupid. I understand, but I think that they took this way too far. And suspending us for 10 days and then possible expulsion over this is way too much. The picture itself may ultimately not be the issue. Instead, it's the caption underneath relating it to homecoming at Bristol Plymouth Regional Technical School. The superintendent says it tied airsoft guns to a school function. These students know what are provocative. You know, and to tie that to uh, one of our school events kind of puts it, uh, puts it over the top, and it, which brings us into it. And in speaking with the superintendent today, he told me parents of students at the school had reached out to him supporting the decision to suspend the students. But nationally, he says emails and phone calls have poured in attacking the action. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.